Okay, what we have here is a, a phylogenetic tree. Um, I'm trying to recreate, basically this is done by a company called Symbio, and um, we're using the, uh, the biology department, uses these labs, <coughs> um, these simulations in some of their classes, and uh, I'm trying to recreate some of what they're doing in Flash. Um, I think they're doing this with Java, and so I'm not completely possible. I'm not completely sure that this is possible in in Flash. I'm assuming it is. Um, what I want to do is um, we have a phylogenetic tree like this with with some nodes and branches. Um, these are species um, that or organisms. Um, what what the professor uh, in biology wants to be able to do is for students to recognize that it doesn't doesn't matter where the location of the organism is that we can sort of spin these rotate these branches along these nodes and that it doesn't matter um, the relationship isn't changed by the, the movement of these and if we move even the nodes this way um, and let's say peak six over here um, now is on the right. Um, it doesn't really matter the spatial um, location of the the, the organism. Uh, just the relationship. She wants the the students to recognize that the relationship is what's important, not the appearance or where they are located in this tree. So what I'm trying to do in Flash is to recreate, basically recreate this. Okay, and what I have now um, here. Um, I've been able to get this far, uh, so what I need to be able to do um, is, and I'll show you the, I have, let's bring this back, um, so I have the, the scripting here it, uh, for this, but uh, obviously, I need to do a little bit more, um, you know, to recreate what they have here. But you click on one of these objects, and then you can drag. And when you drag the one object, the other object spins to the other side. Um, I'm guessing this needs some sort of rotate, and I've been looking into rotate, but I'm, I'm having a problem finding anything that does that that creates this line. That, redraws that line when we make this movement. Um, I'm, I'm guessing there's some trigonometry, sine, cosine, kind of tangent, whatever um, that needs to be factored in. I'm just wondering if you can, if you have the background to, to be able to handle something like this, if you can um, help me along with this part of it. So uh, let me know. Thanks.